Here we go again. Manuel Ugarte is preparing to join Man United as the agreement with PSG is almost done, as per reports in France. The Red Devils have been linked with the Uruguayan International in the past few weeks, and it seems likely that he will move to Old Trafford. Eric Ten Hag is desperate to add to his midfield, with Casemiro expected to exit. Negotiations are still ongoing with Paris Saint-Germain over a fee, but a deal is not yet close. According to Foot Mercado, Ugarte is ready to leave the French champions just one year after joining them from current champions of Portugal, Sporting CP. The French media source have confirmed the news coming from the English press that the 23-year-old defensive midfielder has agreed personal terms of a contract with the Premier League giants. FM add that, as per their own information, the League One side are about to reach an agreement with Man United for the transfer of Ugarte. They reiterate that Operation Ugarte is about to be completed. With two key signings already secured to reinforce the back line and the strike force, the arrival of the South American will solve the ongoing midfield conundrum for the defending midfielder role for the years to come. If Ten Hag's team is able to seal a 60 millions of pounds move for Manuel Ugarte, then it will already have been a statement transfer window for the club, and as per Mirror Sport, even more additions can be expected. Man United finished the last campaign in 8th position and will not take part in the Champions League next season. Bare minimum, Ten Hag would be expected to bring back CL football to Old Trafford, and the Dutch manager has recently claimed that United are a long way from winning the Premier League. Meanwhile, Manchester United are set for a blow in their pursuit of Everton defender Jared Branthwaite. The Mirror report that the Toffees plan to offer the 22-year-old a much-improved new contract. United had two bids rejected for Branthwaite before signing French youngster Lenny Yoro from Lila. However, Manchester United have informed Fiorentina that they will not trigger 20 millions of euros buy option clause for Sofian Amrabat. Told Man United remain interested in Amrabat and willing to discuss different conditions, as Eric Ten Hag likes him. There's interest also from other clubs according to Fabrizio Romano. In other news, Lenny Yoro has been praised by Andre Onana, following an impressive display on his debut in a friendly against Rangers. When you have the opportunity to be a Manchester United player, that's when you have a lot of quality, Onana said after the game. He already showed this in the first half. Great guy, very young player, good on the ball. We will enjoy him this season. He will. We are here to help him, no matter what is going on. Us as leaders, he's a young player, we're going to give him time. He's going to be all right because we have very good scouts here. So if they made him come, that means he has a lot of quality. On the other side, Sir Alex Ferguson has revealed the two players who are currently representing the heart and soul of Manchester United. Asked about Mainu and Garnacho, Fergie told Jamal Niaz, It's the foundation, isn't it? It's the heart and soul of what Manchester United has been since the days of Sir Matt Busby who started the whole process of trusting young players playing. They're young. What they're showing at the moment, the composure and confidence to play in the first team and not be daunted by it. In a way, it shows you the kind of courage they have. It's a distinction in human beings. Some have the will to be that, fearless, at a young age. Meanwhile, Man United are willing to sell up to seven players, according to reports. The Mirror believes Sir Jim Ratcliffe has listed seven names he believes to be surplus to requirements at Old Trafford. Harry Maguire, Victor Lindelof, Aaron Juan Bissaka, Scott McTominay, Christian Eriksen, Casemiro and Anthony are said to be on the list. However, Manchester United are surprisingly considering selling Mason Mount. That is according to Hits who say Tottenham and Aston Villa are considering a move for the midfielder. Mount struggled with injuries in his first season with the Red Devils. He cost 60 millions of pounds from Chelsea. On the other hand, Manchester United have reportedly put a strict condition on any loan move for Anthony. Manager Eric Ten Hag is prepared to let the Brazilian winger leave Old Trafford for the season, it's claimed. Anthony, 24, joined the Red Devils in the summer of 2022 in an 80 million move from Dutch Giants Ajax. He has been unable to find his best form for Man United and struggled in the Premier League. It is now believed he could leave the club on loan for the 2024-25 campaign. However, 
Manchester United will only sanction a deal should any interest club cover Antony's full wages, according to the Mirror. Additionally, Man United are reportedly confident they can sign teen sensation Cheeto Obi Martin from Arsenal. The promising striker is viewed as one of the brightest talents in England. The 16-year-old caught the attention after he scored 10 goals in a single youth game against Liverpool last season. Obi Martin has supposedly rejected a contract offer Arsenal deemed fair elsewhere. Manchester United face a battle to get Aussie Wizkid James Overy registered and his transfer cleared. The right back, 17 this year, has been offered a deal at Old Trafford, as we first revealed, and he and his family have found a house in a Cheshire suburb favoured by top players. However, Overy has not been able to play for United, while the Premier League and FIFA both look at his transfer. Overy, who can play as an attacking wingback, joined non-league side Newton Abbott Spurs in March when his family moved from Perth to England to live. And under FIFA rules, the teenager was not allowed to join any other club within 16 weeks, as this would be regarded as a bridge transfer. United tried to sign Overy within that period, and the agreement is now being delayed, although they had no history with the player before he came on trial. On the other side, Scott McTominay was back at Carrington this week as planned after crashing out the Euros in the group stages with Scotland. The midfielder, who has been heavily linked with a transfer away, underwent testing on his first day back earlier this week. He then joined in training with the rest of the squad but with his fitness potentially a tad behind the rest of his teammates on the other side. Manchester United, open to signing another centre-back after Lenny Yoro, according to Fabrizio Romano. Outgoings are needed to proceed with new signing, but plan remains to bring in two centre-backs this summer. Matthijs De Ligt remains high on the list after personal terms agreed, but United want to include add-ons in talks with Bayern, as 50 million's fees considered too high. Jared Branthwaite, appreciated and considered ideal, but Everton always asked for fee around 70-75 millions of pounds as consider Gvardiol reference. United won't pay that. However, Manchester United are looking to pull off a reported double transfer swoop, starting with Xavi Siemens. The 21-year-old attacking midfielder is currently on holiday after impressing for the Netherlands at Euro 2024. Simons is contracted to Paris Saint-Germain, but shown on loan at RB Leipzig last season in the Bundesliga. His performances have led to huge interest from across the continent, but it looked to be Bayern Munich that had won the race to sign him. He had already reportedly agreed terms with the Bundesliga giants. However, L'Equipe states that United are hopeful that they can hijack the move. Meanwhile, Jared Branthwaite breaks silence on Man United transfer offers after Lenny Yoro move. Manchester United had made Jared Branthwaite one of their top summer targets, but appear to have moved on from the defender after Everton rejected two bids for him. So, Jared Branthwaite has insisted his full focus is on Everton having seen the Toffees reject two bids from Manchester United for him. The Red Devils made the defender one of their top targets for the summer transfer window after an impressive debut campaign at Goodison Park. The 22-year-old won Everton's Players Player of the Season and Young Player of the Season after his starring performances. Those displays attracted the eye of United, who have prioritized signing defenders this summer. But the Premier League giants were twice rebuffed by Everton, who value Branthwaite at between 70 millions of pounds and 80 millions of pounds. United were only willing to go as high as 46 millions of pounds, though and have now turned to signed Lenny Yoro. The 18-year-old landed at Old Trafford, with Branthwaite now brushing off any suggestion he will leave Everton this summer. Branthwaite told Everton's club website, I think for me it's just about taking what I learned from last season and the season before and putting it all together. I think last season, playing all the games I did helped me put performances in and get the experience I needed. 